I have a vision. It involves there not being a new Star Wars property multiple times each year and the product getting diluted to the point of nothingness. I mean, please keep doing it so I have content to gripe about on here, but I can still be mad. Wet letters. Jabba just killed a man. Must you use your arm's full range of lateral motion while running with a death stick down tight corridors? This is very dangerous. So this kid fell from a great height through the roof of a spacecraft and not only doesn't die, but also does no damage to the ship itself. And we know there's no damage because Guy's first question is, what are you? And not, holy sh**, those repairs are going to be expensive. People who watch concerts with their arms crossed the whole time. Yeah, Debbie, I'm talking about you, Debbie. This uninspired shuffle. Let's rock em! Rock em? Rock em? Come on, Guy, you can do better than that. How about let's fire them up or even flame on? At least have your one-liner somewhat match the method of weaponry you're displaying. Forced in fiery crowd surfing. Wearing a cloak this close to your rocket thrusters. This is the third time now. That you've had your concerts crashed by Boba Fett? And you're still performing concerts? There's dying for your art and then there's just being a dumbass. Not sure which this would fall under, but going to send it so I've at least covered my bases. Cine, rock em. It just... It'd be nice to finish a show for once. Does this mean every time these kids play, they're interrupted somehow? Whether from bounty hunters or weather issues or venues double booking, they've never completed a show? And they think they have fans? We've been followed! Clearly, you're well past the we've been followed stage less than Captain Obvious. I think you meant we've been hit. I got a bad feeling about this. Cliché. I can't just abandon him. After all we've been through. At five minutes in, we confidently discover that the bounty hunting failed music portion of the episode has not, in fact, been a flashback. We've been in the present all along, and now we get our flashback to the impactful moment when Jay knew in his heart that Guy and he were meant to be. And you might think that we're about to hit a little heart, or substance, that will give this episode something with more depth than the music anime trope bathed in fan service, but you're wrong. We're shown one simple handshake, and I'm almost sure that handshake was as limp and lifeless as the plot of this episode. What are you? Except that is not how Guy said it before. What are you? And now I know this show is trying to toy with my emotions. The first time we played together. I'm not sure whether I should be impressed or concerned that the first time they played together, their music sounded the exact same as it does today. Jay is a dick to womp rats. And puddles. But just a band. I don't mean to discount the clouds parting and the heavens shining down to highlight the sincere connection the bandmates must have after practicing a few songs and playing three shows, but wait, no, that's exactly what I'm doing. This is the dumbest sh I've ever seen under the Star Wars banner. All these people are here for a pod race or an execution. Both are a sin. We made a deal with Jabba to let us perform before he executes you. <laughs> oh yeah, because cutting a deal with Jabba to perform like this would be a really easy thing to do. You know, call the Jabba hotline and explain, I've got this band thing and this whole execution is a real bummer on our band plans. Also, maybe don't say, Executes you. So happily. Have you lost your minds? You don't need to get caught up in this. Yes, these dumbass kids lost their minds when they decided to either exploit Guy's very public execution as a chance to play to a big audience, or somehow convince Jabba to let Guy go free after hearing their horrible songs. You're not one to run away from your fans, are you? Who would use this argument to someone who not only knows they don't have fans, but is about to be f***ing executed? F***ing Curdy. Calm down, it's just a mic. Turns out it is just a mic, and this is the most anticlimactic experience of my Star Wars life since my girlfriend agreed to dress up as Slave Leia but completely misunderstood the assignment. Playing a guitar with a gloved hand. What sort of horrible person would invent a device where the screen takes up such a small space? Dramatic cutaway to people in a bar watching a live event, cliche. Yeah, they did it! The crowd calls for one more song and they get the approval, so when the song is done, is Guy going to be killed? Do they have to keep playing to survive? Did the writers work out their odd mixture of Star Wars fandom and pin up regret about their failed garage band? When my hands on your grease gun, that's very subtle. It's isn't a it? metaphor. You! Huh? What are you? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. Testing, testing. Check, 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 one, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Wild Stallion! Come on and lose yourself now, everybody. Do 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 dancing, how we move your body. We do be jumping, daily, yeah, we love it. Do 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 don't stop, how we all the Who wants to play video games? Bimo! You know what sucks? <laughs> Realizing that everything you believe in is complete and utter bullshit. Do they rock or suck? They have not started playing yet. <laughs>